Did it work this time? Okay, and we're live again. <laughs> well, Goose, you were right. I was doing a weird thing where I kept saying I was trying to just hit go live again, and it kept saying that it was live, but nothing was actually transferring over to YouTube. It was really weird. So, you can't see it. It's hidden behind my little camera, but it's optimizing shaders right now. And then we'll get back into it and hopefully not have the issues we were having before. Um, okay. So let's see here. Playlists. Uh, uh, this is sim racing, live stream. Check my categories. Gaming. Forza. That in the description. Hey, we're in. Okay. Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I thought about doing the, can't you do like the simulcast thing where you send to both? Thought about doing that, but I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens this time. So we will have missed Indy, which is fine because it was in the rain. Actually, maybe we should just build something real quick in case we get another rain track. What do we got next? Actually, I guess um, next rainy track isn't until 1030. Uh, so yeah, maybe we don't actually need to worry about that tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, which is definitely <laughs> set up for set up well for streaming. YouTube is getting there. They've made some nice changes, but so not great. Okay, so I originally built this car in B and loved it, but put a V8 in it and brought it up to A, so we'll see how that does. Yeah, exactly. Completely agree, Goose. <laughs> Thanks, people, for finding the new video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. It's almost nine o'clock. We've only done one race. This is a relatively narrow track. Your best passing opportunity will probably be in the braking zone before the Andretti here. Um, so I have not tuned this for A, so we'll just see how it goes. Into it. Should have enough time to do some practice laps, make some tweaks if there's anything that really needs tweaking. Alright, we're getting 60 right now. Oh. Forget about that. For some reason with this handbrake. Oh, people coming. Anytime you, uh, when the game restarts, it's like the handbrake is active and you have to pull it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just active and your car spins out. It's very weird. 
Jeez. Okay, gearing needs to be changed. <laughs> We're we're hitting the top of the rev limiter right there. Uh, see, this is A, so this should probably be... Yeah, I don't know. 150 or so? Try something like that. Um, drop the ride height. Lately, I've been running a lower rebound. So I'm going to bring that down, too. This is probably it's fairly light car um let's put a little bit of arrow rear arrow on there uh play with the balance the brake balance a little bit try something like that bring the pressure up Take acceleration down. Let's try that. might still have to tweak the gearing. I got the sixth before the uh <laughs> before the start line there. <laughs> it's weird, this steering feels so much lighter. Feels like maybe use a little more oversteer. I mean, it uh, it's debatable because there have been times when I've backed out of a lobby and come back in, and it's been working fine. <laughs> Currently, we're up at 60 FPS, and everything seems smooth like it should be. So, knock on wood. But I'm pretty sure the last lobby started that way, and then started choking halfway through, so. We'll see. I want a little more rotation. I'm going to try to put a little more understeer in there or oversteer in there. Um, I think I can still, I'll just stretch out the gears a little bit. Try that. So second should be a little longer there, so I don't have to shift in the middle of that corner.
What's that up ahead of us? Is that a Datsun? Like a Datsun Roadster? <laughs> Got some skinny tires. I think it's just all power. So I wanted to get second gear a little bit higher. So I guess we'll stretch out the other gears a little bit too. Try something like that. And I feel like I just need to qualify so I have a couple runs at it. So we'll try that. Yeah, braking lines all jacked up coming into that first corner. Well, we should have another chance at it. I almost feel like third gear could be just a little bit higher too. the edge. We'll see where we end up here. I'm okay with starting second or third. I just don't want to start in the middle or at the back. It's tired of that. Okay. I feel like it's driving very differently than it was during practice. What? Wasn't the only thing I changed the uh, gearing? Did I change hey, anything else? Gearing could still be changed, but that corner just slide around. Hmm. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> Panicked and left off the throttle there. Yeah, we lost some time. to make some tweaks to this. It's definitely rotating, but I think it's rotating more than I want it to. <laughs> I don't know if that's just brake bias or if that's something else. So I need to put out so we can make some tweaks to it. Nice workout.
Okay, so let's put that back towards the front a little bit. I'm gonna put a little more arrow on there because it's only gonna slide more <laughs> when we go to mediums. Uh, I guess I'll put this back up a little bit. I didn't even check my alignment at all. Okay, so I wanted second higher and third higher. So we'll just take fourth and fifth and sixth up just a little bit. We'll run with that. We'll try it. I don't know how this car will launch. <laughs> I didn't practice a launch, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, we're starting third, so a few people got ahead of us. That's A-OK. -okay. All right, so we'll go mediums, get our fuel set. And we'll be good to go. Okay. What all do we got on the grid here? Some fun cars. A nice little variety I feel like you're not seeing. I mean, there's a Amira, which is a very good car in A class, but otherwise, there's nothing that's really, uh, you know, like meta car, I don't think. No S2000s, no DRZs. So that's pretty cool. Fun to see some variety in here. Just don't die. Just don't die. Don't kill anybody. Just don't die. The mantra. Lords of Forza, protect us. Here we go, folks. Okay, decent launch. Okay, they backed off in that corner. I think we got some power builds in here. Uh, Camaro behind us. Uh, awfully close to us through the corkscrew. Man, there's just some corners where this thing gets loose. I'm worried about that Camaro down the street. Please don't eat me. the back end. It's got to be brake bias, right? We are still in front of him, so I'm going to cut over. Oh, snap. Yeah, 
it into the gravel. We can cut across and not get anybody's way. Loose caboose indeed. Loose as a goose. <laughs> the caboose is loose as a goose. Accelerating the Corvette. He might be out breaking this though. It's so timid going around there. <laughs> like I just don't want to lose it this time. on the edge. Something happened? We're in third place? Wait. We weren't in third before, were we? Probably lost more places than that. Second place went a little wide. There's still almost three seconds up on us, so. I have to make up some time if we want a shot at second. Or hope for their mistake. lap two seconds second place Like I'm starting to be able to control this car. Famous last words, but see if I can just get in with half a second. They have a penalty. If I can get in with half a second, we'll win from the penalty.
That's not gonna happen. Ooh. Holy cow, and he's super close to... I wonder if first place forgot to change to medium tires. Ooh, that was close. First place was losing it there. I saw in the... They were on softs at the uh, intermission. I would have expected them to move over to mediums. Maybe they forgot. Good race. Gotta fix that loose caboose. It's a couple of corners it felt like it was... Yeah, I don't know if it just... Brake bias or... Okay, off throttle oversteer. Maybe my rear diff decel was too low. Maybe. I'm gonna look that up real quick. There's a little bit of like a tuning guide. A little worksheet that helps with some of that stuff. Um, fixed oversteer at corner exit. Decrease rear diff acceleration. Oh, interesting. I think it's already pretty low. So maybe that's not it. Human perspective, I feel like it has the opposite problem with Kuda. Yeah, I feel so too. There were some. It, it seemed like only in certain situations, though. Like, it wasn't like it was oversteering when I was putting on the throttle. It was more when I was braking and letting off the brake. Something would catch, and it would just block up and get loose. It was weird. Otherwise, I felt like it was starting to feel pretty good. Sure, what other? Should we try something else? I don't know how competitive any of these other cars are, but it might just be fun to try something else. I really wish that these Ferraris were competitive, but they're not really. I can try it. Let's try it. Maybe it'll be okay at Yas Marina. Maybe. Uh, yeah, the actually the old Mustangs are pretty solid. Pretty much any of the older cars, you can tune up to be very effective. Um, we've done a couple challenges in the OPTN group that involve Mustangs the and like Marina the 65, the oldest the one in there, the typically the performs the best. Don't be distracted by the scenery because each of the nine turns I have it set up as a power build right now. So a lot of power, not great handling and grip. And it does really good at like Road America. Um... But maybe not at Yas Marina. Maybe it would. I don't know. But yeah, they're beautiful cars. Okay, let's try this. I think that I kind of maybe tuned this a little bit. I think. Yeah. Wasn't that motor though? I remember what size V8 it is. Sounds good. Me, me. Another Ferrari waiting on the line.
it feels incredibly solid. I just don't know how competitive it's going to be. It's a shorter lap, so we can do another practice. And then uh, qualify. There's still only 12 players in this lobby. I feel like the lobbies have been small tonight. It just sounds so good. Julius Caesar, I've seen them. In some other races other nights. Qualify. Yeah, if we get any uh, tracks that need a little bit more of a power build, we could try out the uh, Mustang. Last time on that last corner. It's alright, starting second. One to go. This car just sounds so good. The O2 M3, I think that's a pretty strong car in A. M3 is it's pretty strong. Which body style is that? I'm trying to remember. 30 seconds. 
Well, we'll, uh, whoops, quick qualifying here. Never mind, I can't. <laughs> like, when it gets down to 30 seconds, you just can't do anything. <laughs> That car feels very solid. It almost feels like it handles too well. <laughs> I guess I've been driving very loose cars lately, and so it, it feels very solid, which I'm not used to. <laughs> Need something a little more loose. A few BMWs back there. Okay. M3 GTR. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, let's set our fuel. Got eight laps. What else do I have here? Beautiful BMW. Nice. Got a 2010 M3. Was it the 97? I think is maybe like one of the really strong ones. Lots of beamers. Yeah, this uh, cylinder restriction has made things a little interesting. It was, was it the last week with the S-Class six cylinders, you saw a lot of the Porsche 911 GT1. I mean, that was a very strong car. It's like once people figured that out, it was like you just saw them all over the place. Ooh, did not have a good launch gear. Uh-oh. Things are going to get a little tight here. Very tight here. All right, last to first. Eating some BMWs. Okay, what do we got here? Six seconds to first. Feels a little out of the question, but hopefully we can get on the podium. I could have stayed on the gas there. I got worried. So we need to be a little more careful through here because those curbs can really take you out. Beautiful Aston in front of us. That Aston's getting a little pushy. They already have a penalty, and they kind of pushed that guy around there, too. So we'll probably want to be careful of them, if we can. Place two cars ahead of us. 
It's not out of the question. It's not going to be easy either. <laughs> Look like a sad face. Oh. This Mustang's getting a little drifty there. Tight on that corner. 1.3 second. Oh man. I mean, I did cut it. Mustang's got power on us. They're trying to do the switcheroo on us. Pull some time out to get uh, far enough ahead of uh, fifth go. place. So we got a couple more laps, but. us an opportunity here. All right, podium, but now we just got to build a gap and not make a mistake. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Fun thing about uh, the latest update is you actually or I actually get like bar levels while I'm racing. <laughs> Don't have to just level it up overnight. Kind of fun to see. too late in there. Yeah, first place is walking away from us. Their lead's just getting bigger, but second and a half to second Final place. You got this. Three seconds to fourth. And we have a big drift. <laughs> okay. Well, that might have uh, ruined our chances of second place. <laughs> if we had any. Ooh, that was close to the corner there. Oh. 
Feel right about that, though. We're getting knocked back to last place, coming back for a podium. Feel very good about that. Woof. O2 BMWs flying. Well done. We finished that car P3. just sounds so good, though. I wonder if I can do anything with the tune. I guess I could see if I could lower some arrow, maybe. I'll try to give it just a little more power. Because I think it's good on handling. British racing green on a Italian Ferrari. Ooh, Maple Valley. Let's see what else is going on. We might do Maple Valley, but let's see what else is happening. We've got Suzuka in C class. From the south of Spain, cheers. Thanks for joining. Um, so what's the spotlight? 69 Charger. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we could either do Maple Valley, the 8 class, 8 cylinders, or Suzuka and C class. Yeah, let's keep doing the uh, A class. Maybe we could try something different here. Um, something with one second. looking for something with a little more power. Whoa, okay, so that would be quite a bit more powerful. this guy. Another Ferrari. This is powerful. 0.236 power to weight. <laughs> but that's not even as much as the other Mustang. Where's my other? 65. 0.243. It's only 2200 pounds. I think it's a beast. Um, okay, what are we going to do this Ferrari? Oh, which one? Yeah, this one's got more power. Let's do this one. Hope we didn't take too long deciding that. under the bridge you'll be uphill into the right hand elevator okay. lane, which halfway through becomes a steep descent so be sure you're pointed um, properly before you get back hard on six the gas. minutes oh i've got street tires okay good to know what are we looking at for arrow Let's put some arrow on there. Put it right in the middle. Let's go down to qualifying. If we don't have don't have race tires. Whoopsies. It'll be fine, right? I mean, the nice thing about that is that you know whatever your qualifying time is pretty much going to be a race time too <laughs> you're not dropping uh 
these sort of compounds there. That also means it might not be as grippy as something with race tires. Nice thing about this car, I'm not sure, how's it looking on the stream? Oh, like you can see a lot. <laughs> it's very wide, which is nice. I can maybe up the brake pressure too. I feel like I'm really pushing down. I probably tuned it for no rear arrow. Because it's feeling very stable. That would have kicked just because I shifted mid. mid the second gear needs to be uh, brought out a little bit. Another Ferrari. It's fun to see all these Ferraris everywhere. Yeah, see, it feels a little understeery there. But it feels stable because of that. Maybe I just don't mess with it. <laughs> just feels like it didn't want to turn there. Yeah, let's tweak that just a little bit. Nippy? <laughs> feels cold. Or like feisty. All right, we could try dropping down the arrow a little bit, and then let's. Uh, bring this up just a little bit. We'll try that. Uh, we don't have much time. I feel like I need to just hop right into. It'd be nice to get like a couple corners. We'll do this one big corner up here and then we gotta hop right into qualifying. Yeah, that'll be alright. Got to kick out a little bit there on throttle. it a little bit there. Okay, doesn't matter. We got to qualify. <laughs> so close to that wall. Gosh. Big freeze. Could really do without those. It feels planted. I don't I didn't look at the weights. I don't know if it's just really heavy, but it feels nice and planted too, which I like.
30 seconds to race start. Stay on. Stay on target. Like it, going through there, everything feels very planted. Oh. Two remaining. Not a very competitive time, though. <laughs> wheel i mean i guess we'll see what tires have to do with that but <laughs> a few seconds off the pace there at least in, in qualifying nice <laughs> so the daytona back there with a huge win wait we were in second I thought there were others. I mean, still seconds off their pace, but. Huh, I guess they had some dirty laps. Yeah, the Daytona back here. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna play out. Driver, there we go. Shoot, is there anybody else I need to mute? <laughs> Don't need to get another copyright knock because somebody is playing music during their uh, during the entire race, and I can't mute it. That has happened. Okay. See what happens here. There's another Ferrari. A couple other Ferraris over here. Okay, so we got a better launch. He's coming right up behind us, though. He's right on our inside. Interesting. We've got speed on him. Oh, don't hit him. Don't hit him. He must have handling on us, though. He's... Somebody went way wide there. Oh no, he's on our inside. Yeah, good for them. I feel like that's not our car you see very often. Especially up at the top. I would be happy with third place here if we can get it.
looks like that thing is sliding all over the place. I don't know if that's just desync or if it's actually <laughs> drifting around these corners up here, but he's doing it well if it is. Stay on, stay on! Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna go right into that wall. Three remaining. Yeah, it's still understeer. There might be a little bit more we could do with this car if we spent more time tuning it, but. I don't think it's super competitive. <laughs> oh, this is a food shop. Nice. a little bit there. Total time oh, penalty. About half penalty. A That's a bummer. Nice thing about sport tires is they definitely last for the whole race. If there's a different Ferrari we could clean up for this. I guess we have the other one we were running. It's like the 355. Just run that one more. Snip this corner this time. Oh, he's got a big off up there. Is that gonna give us an opportunity? And can we capitalize on it? Ooh. One more. Finish strong. I don't think it'll be enough. Awfully close to the edge there. I wonder if his tires are going. With our penalty, though, we'll have to get. Even further ahead of him, which I don't know if we're going to be able to do.
No! <laughs> no! At least we survived. Everybody survived okay. <laughs> we didn't lose our place. Just got a little loose. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that... Uh, that one needs a little tuning to be uh, a little more competitive. It's like when they feel really solid... Not great. <laughs> it's Pontiac. <laughs> or I guess Ford did win. You're right. They did. They got first place. Sorry. I was thinking about the uh, guy in second place. But hey, we're still on the podium, right? And uh, we got a penalty, well but it was for an off track. We didn't hit anybody. So it still counts as cleanish, right? Cleanish. Okay. Let's check out what the tracks are. We probably got one more tonight. So let's see what we're working with. That is the GT. Oh, Suzuka. We should do that. Pog. I want to do that other Ferrari again. It just sounds so good. It's probably not the fastest. But it just sounds so good. Pretty light, just doesn't have a ton of power. Hmm. This is 183. Yeah, let's just do it. Okey-dokey. As far as other stuff goes, uh, finishing up review of the Wisecam V4. Um, still have a little bit more to do on it tomorrow, so that probably won't come out until Friday. Would be my hope for that. Um, yeah, solid little camera. It's just a little bit better version of the old one, right? A little bit better version of the V3 Pro. A lot better than the V3. Uh, okay. Another... Man, people just must not be playing the Open Series. I wonder if the C-Class is more populated than this one. Yeah, maybe it'll fill up too, but seems like there aren't a whole lot of people playing this series right now. Um, I don't think there's anything we wanted to tweak on this before going in. Let's just go into a practice here. Gear, don't I? That's something I need to change. Pretty sure. We had a bad launch at the yes, Asmarina, I'm pretty sure. Five 
five minutes till race start. Five minutes, so it's a, like a two minute 15 lap. So we can do like one. Actually, can we even finish a practice lap if we want to qualify? Maybe not. Especially if I want to tweak first gear. So good. Sounds even better. Too heavy on the brake there. Yeah, I think I need to we get first of all, let's take that down to like 40. And we really got to drop these other gears. Ooh, that's OK. Let's try something like that. This is a pretty quick uh, end of the lap for getting into qualifying. I want to try the launch real quick. Yep, that feels much better. Okay. Qualify. I feel like tunes would be very different if they did rolling starts in multiplayer because you wouldn't have to have a launch gear. <laughs> you can lose so many places if you don't have a decent launch. to be just a little higher to stay in it through that section, but I don't have time to change it. Whoops. <laughs> did like a double downshift there. I panicked because I was sliding <laughs> did a double downshift. Whoops. Qualifying. Okay, well, since qualifying doesn't matter, let's put out and tweak that third gear before the race starts. Bummer. Oops, not select car. Nope. Tune car. So third needs to be a little bit higher. I'll take that up to like 85. So we'll take fourth up some, fifth up some, and sixth up even more. I felt like I was almost redlining it down the uh, straight there. And that's what we'll run with starting in the back or not starting third. I guess we'll see. <laughs> see what happens here. Another beamer up front. Nice. 
That's a very solid car, but with the six cylinder, it's not as strong with the eight cylinder. So you have to, it's heavy with it. With the six cylinder, you can like make it handle like crazy. Well, is there an RS6 in the back? Oh, good luck, buddy. I have not been able to get an RS6 competitive anywhere else besides like Daytona, a straight power track. <laughs> So good luck. Okay, we were on mediums, got our fuel set. We're starting third, okay, so not too bad. There's something different about European V8s or different from American V8s? Probably. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I know that I'm pretty sure this Ferrari but the engine, the V8 that we have in this Ferrari is I'm sure quite a bit smaller than what you would find in like a Mustang. I don't remember what actual size it is though. Feels like Americans, car manufacturers, I mean, just try to make as big of a motor as possible. <laughs> That's the priority. Okay, what are we going to be able to do here? Corvette behind us, RS6 behind that. Another Ferrari, another Corvette, Mustang. All right, so we get a great launch. BMW is kind of trying to cut us off here. I don't want to pinch the guy on the inside. So okay. That was not ideal. <laughs> Total time penalty I got a penalty for that too. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, need to watch the replay, but wasn't the BMW on the outside coming back in and then it got hit from the inside? RS6 is struggling through the uh, S curves. That was cutting over awfully close. <laughs> New safety rating. Oh, man. I do think it goes down a lot faster than it goes up, so we'll see uh, where we're at at the end of the night. Battle of the Ferraris. starting to take us. Oh, I did not turn in quickly enough there. Alright, we got ahead of him.
cars off at the hairpin. Podium right in front of us, <laughs> if we can get it. Two laps. We can go faster through there, I'm just worried too. <laughs> too. I guess uh, on the far side of that, it's not like grass or anything, it's just out of bounds and asphalt, so it's not like we get slowed down super hard, but at the same time, I don't really want to go off. Exit somewhere, but they're defending pretty hard. Glad I saved the snap there. <laughs> This car is a little bit heavier in the rear, so I can get some like snap over steer sometimes. Second, 1.2 seconds slow trying to get around this guy. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's got more speed than us. Oh, he's gonna push us, thank you. Uh, hope I didn't push him off there. And there wasn't any contact going into that section. That was moving over to the right. Second and first are ahead here, so. I feel like we're pretty well set in third place. This is eighth place ahead of us. Look at that uh, Audi. Yeah. 
Oh, well. Oh, maybe we'll try to save the replay and check back real quick. And see about the, um, our incident getting pushed off. And then I want to... Make sure to push that other guy in the BMW off on that last lap. Front tires were starting to go there, but it's about the perfect amount of life for that race. We had the fastest lap, but <laughs> not much else we could do getting stuck behind Bratwurst and uh, getting pushed off the track. So, still a good race. Another podium. Happy about that. In the Ferrari. I wonder if I can what I can do to make that Ferrari even more competitive because it just sounds so good. It's fun. And it does drive pretty well now, so maybe I just don't touch it. <laughs> and so let's save that replay. We'll check our uh, ratings and then I'm going to call it for tonight after that. Only thing about, uh, like, I'm pretty sure the RS6, he wasn't even driving. He was just in the menu, ghosted, so it's just the AI driving. So, and we lapped him, and it's an over two-minute lap. So you have to wait the full, like, two minutes here for the race end before. And if you quit, I think you just lose any progress from it. <laughs> so. Or at least... Uh, what do you? Well, I guess you lose your position because Bratwurst is down to eighth because uh, they quit early. So, a little bit of a bummer. I feel like if AI is driving for more than Nicely one done. continuous, or if you're in the menu for more than one continuous lap, just maybe just get booted. Should make my Ferrari more of a Ferrari color, I think. Dark green isn't very Ferrari y. Maybe it is one of the stock colors, but I don't think it's bright enough. Okay, save the replay. Alright, so now. We can exit. Let's look at our ratings. Hey, we're up to A, and our skill went up a little bit. That's good. Usually it's a little delayed, so that might go back down to B. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, and then let's watch the replay here. Uh, this was, uh, this one. I'm glad that we can actually do this now. Watch replays in a racing game. Okay, so I always like to replay count game cameras. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Well, he like puts back in, so I freak out, and then the Corvette just comes right over us. So, nothing we could do there. Uh, on our angle, there we go. I mean, we're like right alongside him, so when he snaps back in there. Maybe that yellow Corvette was going too fast. I mean, it's just you know, turn one stuff, right? This sounds kind of funny. Okay, so then, uh, let's, let's see. There's 
a way to escape. Uh, things that stink about this is that you can't uh, see. I can't see where I am in this race, so I just have to kind of try to remember and guess. Uh, also, no overlays as far as positions and all that stuff. As far as I know, you can't turn that on. You can do telemetry, but that's it. Yeah, you should, at the very least, be able to select. Or there should be, a, like, a timeline that shows you where you are in the race. <laughs> there are lots of, I mean, I'm glad it's working, but there's still lots of things that could be improved to make it more useful. I think it's this lap here. I think that's not there. Well, maybe not. No, it's gonna be the next lap. This is, this is where it happens. Also, it sounds like I'm hitting something every single time I skip forward. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Okay, so this is where we get a run. That's all fine. That's all good. There's this little boost. He cuts off to the right. Okay, he was just... It's almost like his... controller died or something. He just kept going straight there. Or he thought there was going to be more road there. Didn't know that it turned into grass. I... I could have given him room there. Although I was... I don't know. What was that? I'm in the lead. He starts to get alongside me right there. I don't know if that's on me or if that's on him. I mean, the nice thing would have been for me to just go left and give him room, but this is the racing line to the right to set up for the next corner. So I don't know. I don't think it's that good idea. I was just curious. I'm glad he recovered it though, it didn't like totally ruin his race. Okay. Alright, well that's where, where we are going to call it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming back into the second video after I messed up the first one. <laughs> but uh updating the drivers seemed to make this work better. Uh didn't have any of those FPS issues during this. Oh, I do want to show one more thing. Now I'm looking at this Ferrari. I want to get your opinion on this. So, <laughs> I have a lot of Ferraris that have a very similar livery here. Been enjoying these lately. With all the 488. Uh, this one. So, in the rear wing department. So, this is the stock. Uh, this is the middle race which you can see gives a little more handling. Nothing too crazy, but it looks big. Like, it looks like a big race wing. And this one bumps the handling up significantly, but it looks like the stock wing. Like, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like that. Pretty sure it's supposed to look different. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. I like how clean it looks, but uh, I guess fours of things, huh? Oh, actually, one last thing. I want to look at what uh, what motors in that uh, 355 we were driving. And then we'll call it a night. Uh, Ferrari. So this is a this is the stock motor. It's a 3.5 liter V8. It's a pretty small V8. That's why it screams so much. Well, oh, you can put a supercharger on this. Ooh. Maybe I'll have to play around with that. We got full tires on here, so I wonder if we could drop a little bit of handling and uh, add a little bit of ballast, which would even out the weight distribution, get that supercharger on there. It might be kind of nice. That'll be for the next one. But thanks, everybody, for hanging out. 
Thanks for watching. Always a blast. Always appreciate it. Um, we will have the Wisecam V4 review coming out later this week. And of course, we'll be live again next week on Tuesday with Tech Talk Tuesday, probably playing some Battlefield again, unless there's something else to talk about. Uh, and then next Wednesday night, we'll be back here playing Forza again. So uh, in the meantime, join our Discord, the link down in the description, chat over there uh, with us about anything gaming or anything else, uh, tech, anything you want to talk about. And uh, yeah, see you there. All right. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. We'll see you later. Bye.